right now. I've had a pretty good oh. summer set of uh, monsoons here, Mr. Gilson. Yeah, and we had beneficial rain in parts of the state yesterday. And here's a look at the drought conditions that are improving. It was just last week that much of the state was still under severe to extreme a drought. But just a week later, we're seeing those conditions improve, especially in central and northern New Mexico. We still have some areas under severe and extreme uh, drought in western New Mexico, but if you take a look at the numbers, extreme drought down by nearly 10%, severe drought almost down by 2%, and abnormally dry is going up to 13%. So we still have a long ways to go, but we are making progress this monsoon season, and we're seeing some light spotty showers out there right now, including in the Sacramento Mountains and Rurido. So the clouds building in as this time lapse moves along and seeing some light rain falling off in the distance. That's where we have most of the action right now is in southeastern New Mexico and the showers will continue to fill in around the Sacramento Mountains into the northeast around Tucumcari, but here in central and northwestern New Mexico, just sitting under a lot of sunshine, a beautiful afternoon to get outside and enjoy plenty of clear skies and a temperature not too bad at 76 degrees and a light wind out of the southwest at three miles per hour. Temperatures elsewhere 72 in Las Vegas, 76 and two can carry a little bit warmer in the southeast, 83 in Roswell, and it's 89 in Carlsbad, the upper 70s in Socorro, and 75 in T or C. A wider view of what's going on, not much around the four corners and off to our west into Arizona, but we are pulling up still some moisture out of the southwest and to our south, so that will keep the shower chances going for this afternoon and as we head into the later evening hours, but a better shot for statewide action will increase as we head into Saturday and Sunday. So for today, some showers along the central mountain chain and to the east, and then as we head into tomorrow, we'll continue with that moisture pumping up from the south, giving us a better shot in central and western New Mexico for your Saturday. Then on your Sunday, it looks like that will be the most active day as an area of high pressure continues to push off to the east. That will allow for more moisture to move into the state, giving us a pretty good day for storms on your Sunday. So here's the extended forecast for Durango, Fugosa Springs, and Cortez. Temperatures climbing into low to mid 80s today with a slight chance for an isolated storm around the mountains. That chance will continue on Saturday and Sunday, but we're not going to see a lot of action here in southern Colorado. Over to the Four Corners, temperatures into the middle 80s in Gallup, 84 in Grants, 90 degrees in Farmington with a lot of sunshine. That sunshine will continue for Saturday and Sunday with temperatures holding around 90 degrees for the weekend. Over to the southwest, temperatures into the middle 80s in Silver City, 87 in Glenwood, 91 in Tiracy with some isolated storms today. A better shot for storms will arrive on Saturday and Sunday and that chance will continue into Monday and Tuesday. Over to the southeast, temperatures near 100 degrees today in Carlsbad, 93 in Roswell with some isolated spotty showers. We see those showers chances continue for Saturday and Sunday as well. Then over to the northeast, temperatures into the middle 80s in Raton, 87 in Santa Rosa with a chance for some storms today. A better shot on Saturday and Sunday with temperatures into the upper 70s and lower 80s over the weekend. And then into the northern mountains, temperatures into the 80s and the 70s, the 60s though, and Red River, that will feel pretty nice with a high of 69 degrees. And then over to the East Mountains, we'll be in the low to mid 80s with an isolated storm today. A better shot for Saturday and Sunday. And over to the Metro, it will be warmer this afternoon. Yesterday, we only made it into the upper 70s with all the clouds and moisture in place. But today will be a different story. And then we could see some storms ourselves this weekend, especially on Sunday and Monday. But you're not thinking.